Hey folks, I just wanted to give a quick review, my personal opinion of WrestleMania 25, the good and the bad. Let's start with the bad. Opening match blacked out for the unification of the tag team titles? Are you kidding me? They turned around and said this is going to be an exclusive for the DVD. That is bogus. For the first time since WrestleMania went Hollywood, there's more positives than negatives. And the big positive for me was when CM Punk became the first man to win back-to-back -back Money in the Bank matches at WrestleMania. I predicted that the Hardy Boys were going to steal the spotlight, and at this point in the card they did. That finisher was off the hook. A twist of fate with a steel chair. Unreal. The Legends match had everything good, bad, and ugly. The good was Ricky Steamboat still has it. What an incredible performance by Steamboat. The bad. Oh my god, what can we say about this? Somebody tell Mickey Rock that Pebbles Flintstone just called. She wants her hair back. And as for that self-indulgent goodbye with Ric Flair, you know what, Rick? I love you, brother, but it's over. Let it go. Now, earlier I mentioned the Hardy Boys had stolen the show up to that point, but this tore the house down. The Undertaker Shawn Michaels was not the match of WrestleMania. It is the match of the year, and quite possibly the decade. What an incredible performance. Having to follow HBK and The Undertaker is not something anyone wanted to do. Cena in the three-way match made it close. If he could have pulled off that finisher the way it was supposed to happen, they might have pulled up even. Still a good match. And finally, the main event. You talk about a stinker. Triple H and Orton in what was by far one of the worst matches they've put on in a long time. Neither man really had a good night. The match was boring and it wasn't worth it and worthy of being called main event. Overall, if I'm rating WrestleMania 25 on a scale of one to five stars, I'd probably give it a four. Hell, the Undertaker HBK match alone was a seven on a scale of one to five, and that brings up the rest of the event. Overall, some great moments, WrestleMania moments, CM Punk winning two years in a row, Money in the Bank, clearly a WrestleMania moment right there. The Heartbreak Kid Undertaker match, people are already saying that might be the match of all WrestleManias. And I'll tell you what, going into that match, I think most people took on the Macho Man Randy Savage Steamboat WrestleMania 3 match as the all-time great. I'd say this one beat that one. So, very possible. Great overall. Hey, Vince, stop screwing the fans. You advertise a title versus title unification match for the tag team belts. And the only way to get it now is to buy the DVD. Do you really think there's an idiot out there that's sitting back saying, well, I wasn't going to buy the DVD, but since that's the only way to see the Colognes win the match, I'm going to have to go out and shell out the money now. People are going to buy that DVD anyway. Stop screwing people, especially when you raise the price to $55. Overall, great event, four stars. Just wanted to get a review out there. Talk to you soon. Ringside.